Well, Shep, I guess you gotta get your workout somehow. Hey, everybody, welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. I'm Slayer Matson. Last time, we recruited Archangel, who we found out was Garrus, our good old friend from the first game. This time, we're gonna go and meet up with him, as well as check in with everyone else, and see what they're up to. So, first things first, we'll actually just pop into the research terminal, pick up our SMG damage, that'll be very nice. Pick up some shield piercing while we're at it. Uh, we'll also boost our tech powers up. Um, sure, why not? Might as well just check everything out. Again, we can't really do anything with that. Now check out with Morton. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but you've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially, just did recon, but... Uncovered data. Troubling. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <coughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan will have to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it on Tuchanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. <laughs> Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. And unfortunately, the end dialogue got cut off on my game tabbing out. Classic. Morton is a fascinating character because of all of the genophage stuff. Because the genophage is, like Shepard said, a pretty close to genocide and war crimes and all that business, but still he's justifying it, and we'll see more about it later on in the game. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Indeed we will. No more options to talk with Jacob. What a shame. Private Terminal? Glad you didn't sign up from John Whitson. Hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you at Afterlife, af uh, met you at Afterlife on Omega. It stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news feeds so that almost all those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are, or if you got me out of there alive yourself, but thanks. 
felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been a part of it. I'll make the most with what you did for me, John Whitson. And things are quiet again from the Omega Clinic deck. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis' clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. We got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. Blue Suns keep offering me to take over security here. I keep the max powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. So, things overall going pretty well. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, doesn't look like you have anything there. Maybe we'll talk later. There's further eventual stuff you can get with Kelly. However, I don't fully remember how to get it. You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. A little bit of dialogue there from our ambient co-workers. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything is going well up here. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I love Joker. He's the best. Just such a reliable guy. I'll get into voice actors at a later point, but... Um, he is, he's one of the more interesting voice actors, uh, does Joker... Um, mainly with one particular other role that he has, um, being very different from everything else, but, oh well, uh, whoops, I actually meant to go down to floor three, where we got our, uh, check out Kasumi first, you'll have some quick dialogue. I was just thinking about you. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security, but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Damn it, Bert. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. No window for you. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Ah, fucking Bert. Of course Bert had to ruin things. We're gonna go check in with Miranda next. Maybe she'll have a little bit more. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Not a problem there. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in. Go and check out Garrus. He is at the main battery. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Because he was talking about it, the Thanex Cannon. This is also something that is basically required. Uh, the Particle Cannon. We'll get that once we have the Platinum for it. It'll be a while before we need this stuff, but Let still just keep it got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? 
I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad, then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first? No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Not exactly the most upbeat of catch-ups with a good friend, but it's something, I guess. Uh, we'll go and pop on down to the engineering deck, see if Jack and Zayed have anything they want to say. To, well, Zayed probably will have a little bit to say at least, but see if Jack wants to, wants to chat. This mission. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You know, I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives a man. 
That's uh, that's a little bit concerning. I should let you go. Talk more later. I like uh, I like Asumi a lot more than Zaid. Um, Zaid's a pretty middling character, honestly, which is a shame. Very big shame indeed. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. You're a hard person to like, Jack. Really? I had no idea. What other amazing insights do you have that I'm too stupid to see? Oh, bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were going to kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I've been... You let someone get that close? Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. Okay. okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. Jack is also a little bit of an interesting case. She is one of the three, uh, well, three heterosexual... Uh, romance options for Shepard. One of... I believe six? I want to say that a male Shepard can do. Um, however, if you have sex with her at that moment, that romance will be completely blocked off from you. No messages for you. So, a little bit of an interesting detail. You know, not a fan of being used like that. Which makes sense. And we're gonna pop onto Omega just to hear the dialogue with Garrus. We're not really going to. Also, he does have unique armor from it, DLC stuff. We're gonna pop on that. We'll also check out his stuff. He has concussive shot, overload, and then turn in rebel. The armor piercing ammo that I kind of just by default chose is Garrus's loyalty reward. Uh, we'll do that. Let's let's boost up Garrus's uh, weapon damage. Sure, I think that sounds nice. Uh, Garrus uses assault rifles and sniper rifles. Makes sense. Um, actually, no, we will check in with Arya as well while we're here. We did find that one, um, found that message. We're not going to fully explore Omega for a little bit. Um, again, have a little bit of extra stuff I want to take care of first before we really advance on. Actually, it's really only one big thing 
but that'll unlock, well, quote unquote, unlock. It'll put me in for, we'll get you in a little bit, Grizz. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after our gate. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shep. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. One scan and we're straight. Your death was downplayed, but uh, whatever you need will come out on its own. Tell me how you got set up. That's his privilege. I have many friends and enemies like that. Short answer? Okay, I couldn't remember if that actually got us anything aside from just a tiny bit of experience, but it doesn't seem like it. Yes, even though we do have a lot of stuff on Omega yet to do, and also quite a bit of stuff on the Citadel to do, again, I am waiting for one extra thing that will be in a little bit of time. It won't be super, super close by in time, but... We're going to be taking care of a lot of side questing stuff when we open up uh, part two of the game. Basically, the way that this game works is that there are three acts. Um, we will, after we finish off our last dossier, we will get a big old mission. Uh, once we finish that mission, then we'll get another few dossiers as well as loyalty missions uh, unlocked. Then, then there's timers. I'll get into that in more detail later. Anyways, that'll be it for this time, and next time, we'll go on in towards that extra, uh, that final dossier, but until then, see you guys later.